Hey friends, it's me, Erin, your friendly neighborhood energy alchemist with today's Schumann Resonance update for Saturday, April the 13th. All right, you guys, seriously, I have a big, giant update today and I'm being very vulnerable. This is one of the first times I've ever received a direct channel of information. Also, thank you for being patient with me. I know I'm late today, but I was in such a deep meditation when I was receiving this channeling information. I was in meditation for like an hour, an hour. All right, so here's the graph and we had another timeline jump. I have to admit when I woke up and saw that, I was very confused because I was under the impression that there weren't gonna be a lot of big timeline jumps. So when I went into meditation, I asked about this and I was actually given a direct channeled message. I'm just gonna read it to you. This is not as easy for me as it might seem because this is still hella weird for me, you know? Now I'm not here to convince anybody of anything. I'm just sharing what I received, so do with it what you want. <clears throat> The divide between the awakened collective and the sleeping is growing ever wider. As more lights ignite, the walls between the collectives grow taller. Nice little rhyme there. Each of you are individual on individual timelines, but when enough momentum toward the light is gained through individual shifts, the overall collective shifts. In your physics, when two waves of energy meet they are, that are the same, they amplify the wave, increasing its size. This is the idea behind the awakened momentum. And I took physics in high school, so I didn't remember physics, but I wrote that down. So I looked it up and here it is, exactly what it said. When two waves of the same size meet, they amplify. This is called uh, constructive interference. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna continue with the channeling. There are some political decisions being made both in the public and in the background around the world that continues to move the two timelines apart. Pushing against the awakened collective, See. Uh, serving as extreme contrast in this time of great awakening. As the contrast increases, more choose the path of awakening. This creates a momentum. This momentum is what causes the collective shifts. There is the awakened collective that continues forward, moving increasingly closer to a love-based reality, and the sleeping collective moving ever deeper into contrast. This is by design, as Earth herself is also ascending. The idea behind this is kind of one of getting everything out on the table, getting everything exposed because as Earth ascends, some of these practices and behaviors that we as a collective have been engaging in need to stop, like for real. Now more than ever, it is important to choose your focus carefully. The individual realities you create are a direct reflection of the focus you have. Choose happiness, choose gratitude wherever you are, and this will be reflected in the physical. As more and more awaken, they are searching for guidance. By being authentic, your individual light grows, illuminating the path for others to find their way. The shift directly after the eclipse increased contrast for many, sparking a large wave of new awakenings. This is reflective, reflected in the momentum resulting in this time shift. Okay, so that was the channeled message and seriously, it was so clear that I don't think that has ever happened to me. I'm still kind of shaken up by it. Like the phone is a little shaky because I was like, oh my gosh. Also, we are receiving a lot of strong energy in the crown region right now. This tends to amplify people's gifts, people's connection to their source. Your clairs get uh, uh, heightened during this type of energy. I can't even talk, I can't even talk. That's how strong this is. And all morning I have felt very in my crown, very much in my higher state. Um, I feel very floaty, very etheric. I don't know how to explain it. I'm just telling you, this is a lot and it's really affecting me. As I was finishing up my meditation, I also received at the very end of that channeled message that today is not a day for cards, that the channeled message was the important part of the message today, that this is what needs to get out to people. This is how these timeline shifts work. And we did as a collective move forward towards a love-based society, love-based collective, I guess, um, while the other timeline is staying steady. They aren't going down, they're just staying steady while we are doing kind of like this, right? but it's the momentum of more people awakening as a result of the eclipse. When all those waves meet, it amplifies, making this timeline shift. So today and every day, but today especially, please be mindful of what you're focusing on. Do something that helps you feel good. Focus on gratitude, just be grateful. I mean, sometimes a win is just getting out of bed. You know what I'm saying? Celebrate your wins today. Celebrate your wins today. And I'm not saying to ignore any bad feelings you have, but don't live there. 
please don't, not today. And be your weird, authentic self. This channeled message was very much saying that the more authentic we are, the more our light rises. We become the light on the hill for the people awakening and we're there to say, come this way, it's okay. We're gonna be okay together, friends. And it's a little past sunrise, but it is an absolutely gorgeous day in Illinois here. Blue skies, birds are chirping, it's freaking warm. I, I mean, I couldn't be more grateful for this weather today. So I just wanna say thank you for letting me be authentic and express this channeled message because I rarely get them and it still freaks me out, to be honest. But I just wanna remind you guys that today and every day, today is a great, great day. It's a great, great day. There's so many opportunities for you. Embrace it, both hands, both hands, bear hug it. Today's a great day, friends.